We're back with the CWSFL. We got the first game of the day. It's week seven. The Around the World Sports Network. We got our guys Henry and JB in the booth for this one. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun. I know they're excited to get this one going. It's the Lancers taking on, or not the Lancers, it's the Gazelles hosting the Black Guard. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be a good game. Um, both teams should be going at it, and it's going to be a good one. But the, the, the kickoff is happening now, so... Let's hurry and head down to that field. Whatever, they're, they're the worst. Uh, they're the worst expansion team anyway. You see them kick the ball out. It's cock and I just send that one deep to K-Bros, who that's not even close. You gotta you gotta lower your strength here. Get, get your skill up. Level up a little bit. Omar and Leonard. Under center. Gonna toss that one off to Sammy Ruggs. He's too fast. Easy first down. It's a switch up between RFL football and this. Everything's so slow. You know what I mean? You gotta really watch this and it's actually like fast paced. Yeah. They don't have 60 speed. They don't have 60 speed. Amen. Putting that out in the middle. Gets that first down. Easy. Dante Green. Familiar name. Fucking legendary panda. I'm gonna call Making that Omar at 99 is crazy. Making Omar 99. I wonder what like actually boosts him there. <laughs> Well, he probably boosted things he doesn't even need. <laughs> boosted his speed up a little bit. <laughs> yeah, he's better run past all of them. No, oh, well. Oh, different guy run past them. I did not know he was that fast. They're all that fast. I gotta go look at the sheets now. I don't even know why the black guard had this kid. Are you watching yeah. hockey? Oh wait, I guess I guess he's not talking, but get away, blackguard! You got eighty-two speed. No, the wrong guy. Ninety-nine speed. Okay. No wonder you that fucking fast. Must be all his TP. Um. Uh, actually, is. <laughs> That's actually, no, that's actually all it is, dude. Laquisha... Who? Raquan? Rippington. Oh wow, they actually want to give Unknown Safari the ball? Like, more touches he's gotten the whole year. The amount of, like... I don't know, the gazelles do not use him enough. I would not give him the ball, to be fair. He's kind of ass. I mean, he was pretty good when he was in the Hellhound, so... Yeah, but... But he's a Season 2 player. Yeah. So he's regressed a lot, right? Big old regression. Worked. He still gets a lot of work on through the air, actually. More than his rushing. Hunter Jackson sent that one deep. Got a little jarred, though, so... Been able to get it out. Accurately. Maybe uh, the gazelles are going to go deep more often this game. I think last game they threw like 10 screens. I fucking hate screens so much. I've asked Low Poly to specifically put a slider in for me to <laughs> remove screens. He said no, though. <laughs> that would be a lot worse. Drops the pass there. Fourth and two now. Gazelles are going putt it away. I think this is about to be a brutal fucking game. Um, oh. It's going to be a pin, though, cock analyzer. Pretty good point. Also a former panda? Is he a panda? Is he a panda or he might have been a fair? I don't know. <laughs> oh, your favorite. God, fuck. 
And they never, they only work for teams I'm playing. Like, like yeah, Kaiser. Never seen that. a, yeah, I've never seen a screen work for me. I'm gonna throw that one up in the middle. Gets caught on his own lineman. Alex Starr gets that tackle now. Actually, tackle for loss there too. Oh wait, no. Oh, okay. He, well, okay, <laughs> fuck. Sixteen yards for rugs. Where did you burn it? They're like so much further down the field, even though it's like ten yards. Ten yards oh. is a lot. Okay, that's a touch. Teddy. <laughs> ooh, ooh, no man. And Woodson uh, caught him. I After I jinxed it. Two. That's so unrealistic, though. What getting caught? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, Matt Woodson. He's IA. Willow knows him in real life, but I guess he's not on his team, so I didn't really care. Yeah, an 83 speed player caught him. <laughs> All right, so it's going to be one of those days. You're going to see Sammy Ruggs get up to like six touchdowns. Where I'm, I'm going for like 400 yards. Yeah, the running backs have like been all over like the records this season. It's kind of crazy. <laughs> Can't say I'm that surprised. Wouldn't be surprised if somebody hit double digit touchdowns by the end of the year. I, I feel like that's been pretty normal. No, like uh, the running backs. Yeah, I feel like that's been pretty normal. Uh, their record's are around seven. Martin Chop said seven a couple times. It's usually like six touchdowns. I think a lot of games. Oh, like in a game. Okay. Yeah, yeah, no, in a game. <laughs> I, I really like... wouldn't be surprised if some, like, because if the Hellhounds ran the ball more with a better running back, they definitely have uh, a running back run for 10 touchdowns in the defense they have. Who is their running back? Uh, oh, Axel Axelman. Oh, oh wow, what a spin. Fun backwards. Leal and Hell. That's a former panda. Sky. I was grilling Sarox for years. I Like an actual year to get this guy. Gives it up for a second. I offered way more for him. I'm so mad about it still. Who's that? I guess I don't know what my question to that was. Hawk analyzer, send that one deep. Hey, Brad's there, return it. Gets a lane. I don't know, man. Yeah. Ghana won their first two games, and ever since then, I don't know what's been happening. Uh, I'll tell you what happened. They played shit teams the first two weeks. I mean, the Pharaohs and the Pegasi were um, around this still. Yeah, but come on, they're not exactly the greatest teams. They dropped. They dropped the second game to the. Um, what's it called? Uh, they, they dropped, dropped it the to game to the Texans. Yeah, and then they dropped them to the Pharaohs. So I mean, they beat the teams that they lost to. So. Uh, eggs, black card, polar bears, yeah, egg aside. Safari is spinning for a whole lot of no reason. <laughs> I love when they do that. <laughs> you know, the skill moves in this game are never at the right time. No, oh, especially with AI. <laughs> or I like it when they uh spin behind the line of scrimmage yeah or then also they what was i gonna do it say well it can't, it can't be as bad as that one time i was watching this axis game right and they uh called a screenplay where the guy caught it and ran out 
inside his own end zone. Oh, Ooh, that's a fumble. Fumble. And he scooped. Leo the Might Mountain. scored. The way. Oh, he's going, oh, oh my oh, oh. god. <laughs> Did Unknown Safari just come speeding in to catch him? <laughs> what the fuck, bro? <laughs> that's, that's, a, that's actually such a big issue with Sunday Rivals AI, though. Every time they fumble, they just get a speed glitch to go catch the defender. Yeah. Oh, no, it's because when they break a block, mm. they absolutely fucking... They, they get a speed boost from it. Totally. Ooh. <laughs> Catch by Logan Bandy. Great. Logan. And what's the score? I don't even know. Oh. See if they can make it 28 to nothing before half. Rugs. Hey, much can. Mm. Linebacker didn't even want to try and tackle. I always watch blowouts, bro. Well, this week uh, we got a lot of games that are probably going to be blowouts. Who am I playing again? The polar, the polar bears. bears. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, you got the lancers and the stags. Stags are going to probably cook them pretty hard. You already know the hellhounds are going to. Slap the pharaohs around, and I mean, heck aside, have definitely been struggling. I don't know if we'll see that good a game this week. Leo and Lamount, though, another tackle for a loss, having himself a game. Let's see, last play of the half, Hunter Jackson. You know, every time Ghana loses, I feel like his passing percentage gets better and better because his accuracy is ridiculous for some reason. Look at that, 30 yards, 10 and a half. Wasn't he on the Pandas for like a season? He was on the Devs. He was never like actually on the team. Uh, he was he, a feeder flyer. He won like two of, he won like the Dev League trophy or whatever twice, I think. Twice? I think. <laughs> Sure. He, he deserved the call up here. Yeah. Makes a. Uh, he's not fucking here. I mean, he started off really, really strong. I mean, he hasn't had a bad season. Mm -hmm. just... Yeah, well, yeah. It's just hard to be too good. I just. Um, he's a young receiving he's board. Else, yeah. Not enough defense, really. I would not call. Wait. I would not call it super old. I love that. I love the Smith Smith trade so much. Um, yeah, <laughs> the trade for trade for wide receiver three, bro. <laughs> Especially when you're growing and you need defense. Yeah, a whole second pick for a second round pick for a fucking wide receiver three. An old wide old IA wide receiver three at that. <laughs> but no, I, I, pro I probably could have used him, but whatever. Oh. I think the pick was worth it. He breaks loose there. 37 for Breeze. Every time yeah. I see Breeze make a catch, it's a screen, and I don't understand why his guy likes to catch screen so much. Because uh, he's a wide receiver too, I think. Is wide receiver like to like the screen position? Uh, depends on the playbook. Mm -hmm. Other wide receiver, it's yeah, they take like to give it to wide receiver two a lot. Kind of stupid, but what a catch, Smith Smith. Speaking See if of the fucking devil. Get on the board. At least get on the board. Come on, guys, you got this. <laughs> Bare minimum, bro. Oh, yeah. Look at you. Shoves it down their play. throat, bro. That might be... Let's see. Uh, that might be one of his few rushing touchdowns this season. We don't actually know exactly how many. Let's see. Stats. That's going to be his... <laughs> oh. What the hell? I think his... Oh, I'm bugging. Ooh, he said two. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. 
Dingleberry's actually been so ass this season, bro. Oh, yeah, no. He's, like, the best receiver in the league and one of the top players, like, in the league in general. And his stats are just terrific. <laughs> it's just because I don't use him right because I don't have another receiver. Yeah. So it's, like... Whatever, I'm fine with this. I'm the GM, but and he's around for two more seasons before regression. Mm. So he's just gonna get better. Yeah. <laughs> gonna have like genuine ninety nines across the board. Board. I'm even getting the block up too. Still the I don't think that's gonna fucking change at all. Yeah, it's just... Ghana, I, don't, I don't think Ghana has much up from, or much in general. I know they have much in general. Damn. I know they have a. <laughs> we got a couple <laughs> of defense. There he goes, K. Braz. Big yeah, ad touchdown. He'll be happy to get that one. I know he's been uh, upset about not getting enough of the ball this year. Had like a thousand yards for the Pegasi, came over, and he's barely even getting touches. <laughs> but I mean, slightly better than the Pegasi this year, so. I'm surprised Unknown Safari is their returner. I feel like one of their receivers. Yeah, that's kind of weird. I feel, like what a, yeah. I feel like K. Braz would fit what well, well, I feel like his kind of look to that would be because uh, he has a high break tackle rating. You gotta 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 break the tackles, so it's like a little less risk. For that you know what I mean? Yeah. Since all of the all their their receivers are very fast. Man, Jack. Is like is gonna probably break the tackle record this season. He's at nine already or this game, but he's been getting so many tackles this season. Jack. It's just like, uh, Jack their safety. Jack their me safety. up. Their safety. Wait. Yeah, he's a safety. But um, a lot of safeties this year have just been getting so many tackles on these long runs or these uh deep passes. I made a terrible choice when I um. Which GMing Lance's forever ago. I signed a player called Keeling Mbappe. Right? Because mm -hmm. I got fooled by his massive tackle counter. And he did the same thing on my team, except he's horribly IA. Mm. <laughs> oh, there you go, McBot. Touchdown. He closing this game up. I don't, I don't know why. It's not that close. It's sacked on the uh, going for two attempt here. I wonder what the like two point conversion rate in this game is because of all the teams that love to go for it, I feel like they don't get it that often. It has to be incredibly low. Either either they hit it all the time or they just don't at all. Like not even close. And they also like to run screens on them. It's really annoying. It's like, a, what, what, wasn't in the RFL there a screen on like fourth down? Fourth down or like fourth and 20 or some shit. I don't know if that was in the RFL, but that's when I, like, I tend to see screens. Oh. Got a fumble recovered by a lineman. At least Ghana's trying now. They woke up the beast. It's just crazy, like, um, you watch all the, like, RFL slow pokes run around, and then you got Boise winning by one point, and then you just see these 99 speed running backs out here, just zooming around. Yeah, well, we're kind of set up to avoid 99 speed running backs. They'll only be 90 speed. Yes, I'm sure we'll see no running backs run past everyone. That doesn't happen at all. That doesn't already happen, no. no. <laughs> We're trying to minimize how much that happens. 
Yeah. Instead of it being the complete meta. Except Will is trying to nerf running and more, because he hates offense or something. Jeez, Simpson got it uh, knocked out twice in a row, taking a beating down there. Poor guy. Getting absolutely led into the safety. Yeah, Jackson's got to work on that. Oh, a third time in a row. Three straight deflections for the black guard. I like how he lies on the ground in the background. <laughs> I'll let him go for it. Yeah, why not? You gotta lose. And they don't even go get the first. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they should They should have fake punts in this game. I mean that'd make so so much sense for it. Yeah, you know, nothing will get crazier than watching the Lancers. Um, almost beat the black guard and then decide or maybe it was the gazelles I don't remember who they almost beat but they almost beat someone and then the game decided they couldn't win and started running curls the entire last drive that's probably me <laughs> like I know I, I was about to beat the fucking no no it was the Lancers I can find the game I think it might have been last week or two weeks ago um, still so think, mad about it. Yeah, I it was two weeks ago. It was the Lancers and the Black Guard. Um, the Lancers had like two minutes left, and they were about to go down the field. And all of a sudden, their receivers just keep running curls every route. And me and Sarix were like, bro, is this game tanking the Lancers? <laughs> like, this game straight up tanked the Lancers. Can't even, like... Can't even win if they wanted to, bro. No, like they they, they should have won that game, but the AI, like the game literally was like, all right, you're running curls this entire last drive. How are the Lancers getting better? Well, last game they just ran it with Avery. Avery's always been good, so I think he was just getting to the outside a lot. By the way, I don't know why the Gazelles and uh, Pumas didn't play in the first week. That's like... like two expansion teams? Yeah, that, that just makes sense. Yeah. Um, I, did, did these two teams play already? I feel like they played already. I wouldn't make sense if they played. They're in different divisions. Gazelles and Black Guard. They played in preseason. And it went just about like this. I can imagine. But it's kind of crazy. It's also crazy we gotta, like, not even realize how, like, much the um, Black Guard, I mean, Comets are, like, having their best season ever. Oh, they're not. Don't forget season two. Well, yeah, I guess. But the, like, he all needs very long time. But season two is their year. <laughs> no way. I mean, they they still were four and three. So if you really want to call that their year. Standings only. Goes back to fucking. Well, they made it to the gold wall at least. Yeah, yeah. Well, the Pharaohs had a nine and zero season that year. Actually, I'm looking at it right now. Crazy though to think like this team has only been like their best record. Holy shit! Four and six. Why does Crazy it look so dick? Like, I remember making the uh, charts for, like, team history win percentage and seeing teams in, like, 20s. That was wild. Oh, yeah. Well, the Gazelles decided to kick a field goal for some reason. But I guess uh, 15 looks better than 12 to them. So... Oh, okay. Sammy just ran him over. <laughs> that was... Didn't even, didn't even notice the guy there, bro. He just... <laughs> 
Um, okay, so 42 to 15, Ghana just called timeout. You know what? I don't even feel bad anymore that they're going to get scored on again. I don't even feel bad anymore, but... Because why are they calling their timeouts? Like, this is literally the Madden equivalent to people, like, getting mad because you called a timeout and scoring on you again. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, celebrated too early. We oh, got uh, 300, so... Almost had his 400. Still. It's definitely going to be your player of the game. I don't think Omar... Omar's had a few games this season where he's thrown it, like, three times. Or less than ten. Ah, uh, I can't even remember too many throws. Yeah, no, uh, like, realistically, he's had a lot of games where he's thrown it less than ten times, and I think this might be another one. Look. Well, the gazelles are definitely in for a long week after this one. Who are they playing after this? I don't know. Next week. Let's see. Seven out of eight for Omar. So that's another he's game. Been, he's been, he was pretty good, but. Yeah, another game he doesn't. Uh, the Gazelles next go to the Pandas, and then they go to the Hellhounds before finishing with the Pumas, so. That is, that is terrible. I, I mean, they might be able to pull it off first, the Pumas, but I think, honestly, if they wanted any shot at uh, playoffs, this might have been it. This definitely might have been it. Damn. Are they going to take that or are they going to stand up to you? I don't know, because you got the Pegasi and the Pharaohs who are all at 2-4 and four with them, or now the Gazelles are going to be 2-5 and five and the Black Guard just moved to 4-3. and three. But you never know. Who's going to be the sixth seed anyway? That sixth seed is definitely not going to be a good team because you no. could see even... Like, the point differential goes from 0 to negative 64. <laughs> no, that stretch from 6th to 10th, all yeah. pretty ass teams. Yeah. The Black Guard are a little better than them. They're like the best of the shit, you know? Yeah, and I then think the a... Black Guard and the Polar Bears are, are pretty similar up over there in the middle. I would, like have the... to dis I would have to disagree. Uh, let me look at the set of ships. I would still have to disagree. I don't know. Or maybe it's been the polar bears' luck of their um, opponents' schedule so far this year. I don't know exactly who both teams have played. I know the polar bears started with the hellhounds and uh, pandas already. Yeah. I don't know. I, I it's the top three. Even though the stags have had a pretty light schedule. I've yeah, I mean, the Stags are definitely better than the rest, but I don't think they'll ever be near the Pandas and Hellhounds. No, I think they'll be there, but eventually. I'm Well, yeah. I mean, the Pandas definitely... <laughs> the panda, well, the Pandas are going to fall off soon. Yeah. Especially I mean, considering the... Jay Money is near... Pre, uh, Near regression, the number one receiver is IA. Uh, the running backs are fucking mid. Jalen's not bad. He's a 72, and he's missing progressions. Yeah. Uh, and then you guys, like, you're, the majority of your team is season five. Yeah. I mean, when we had the expansion draft, it was a lot of rookies. So. Yeah. Well, yeah, it'll, it'll be a pretty similar situation to what the uh, Pumas will be in. Well, the Hellhounds and the Pandas are both going to go through the same thing at the same time, so. Ah, uh, yeah. I don't know how confident I am in Lunark's rebuilding abilities. I mean, both teams, like, like, were in the same situation when expansion hit, so we'll see. Well, I think part. I think that the Hellhounds have a very similar situation to the uh, Pandas. 
Yeah. All of their O line is IA. Oh wow. <laughs> That's gonna be a concern soon. I think uh, Free Smith, if not this year, next year he regresses too. I, but it might yeah, be Yeah, this... he's a season four. Yeah, so he goes with J Money, so they're they're both in the same boat there. Yeah. And again, both their both their receivers are solid season five guys. Yeah. Their running backs is where it's at though. Yeah. Axel, Axman, that's so forty two, both pretty good users. And they're DVs, but they're also kind of old. Yeah. I don't know. Either way, been good talking. Uh, For sure. Yeah, I'm tired though, so I'm gonna get a hop off.